Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, I'm going to go over response. There are different types of responses. So like we said before in the past, you have a client like the browser, it sends information, which is a request over to the server and the server sends something back and that's the response, right? And this got me puzzled for a little while. So when we return response.ok, you could put whatever you want inside of here. It could be text, it could be a number. I think it could be a number. Yeah, it could be a number. Uh, wait, 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 didn't start yet. There we go, it could be a number. You could return anything you want to right inside of here, okay? So you send a, re a request over, it catches some information, puts it in the response and sends it back. But there are other types of responses as well. The type of response is given a number, typically in the hundreds, 200, 400, 500. There are other types, but these are the basic ones. I'm going to stick with this before we get into more advanced stuff, if I ever get there. What the 200 range response means is that this is okay. Everything worked out well, great. If it's in the 400 range, that means there's an error on the client side. So on the browser or the mobile phone or whatever you got, there's an error there. 500 means your server code, something happened and there's an error there. Okay, so that's what those errors mean. And so if you say return response accepted, this is going to be a 200. Two oh two. So that would be that's okay. So it the it did receive the request and it sent back a response. Okay, um, or it, it didn't actually in this thing send back a response. It just accepted it. Um, and then here. In the response, you want to send information back to the client, right? Here, you don't really want to do that because this is not the same thing as sending information. This is just accepting it. You can send some information back, for example, a header, and an HTTP header is a little different from an HTML header, okay? So a header is just extra metadata, some information that you want to send back for some reason, one way or the other, okay? So here it would be request happened, and this is a map form. Notice that it has to be a map form. If we send it here, what we could do is go to, and this is Firefox, web developer, web console, and then we go under network. Okay. Here is the contact us file right there. And then under headers right there, we can go down and say request happened. Awesome. I hope you can see that. It's a little bit small. Sorry about that. So request happened. Awesome. And this first key, um, right key value, so it's a map. Um, the, the first key has to be a string and it can't have any spaces in it. That's just the rules, okay? And a bad request, response.bad request, so what number would that have? That's 400, so that means that there's a client error. So if you have a client error, you're gonna want it to route it through the response.bad request. And if you looked through here again, here, headers, request result, bad request happened. Just like it says right there. Again, I'm sorry if you can't read that. That's just the header that's in the browser itself. Okay? So that's 400. The server error is going to be... This is dead code right here since, um, okay, so the server error, hang on, is going to be 500, right? Server error, 500 right inside of here. And response.unauthorized is gonna be a 401, a client error, because I didn't have the authorization to get inside of here, it returned that. So. What I thought was you would the response would give you back a lot of information. But what confused me at the very beginning is the only time you really want to send information, a significant amount of information back to the client is when there's an OK. So when there is the accepted bad request, you really don't want to send so much information back. There's no need to. All you're sending back is a, a feedback saying it didn't work. OK, there's something wrong here. I'll tell you where the problem is. But I can't, I'm not going to send you more information because there's an error there. 
the response.ok is where you'll actually get the value from the response and send it back. So we'll have to stuff whatever information we want into that, into the parentheses, I'm sorry, into the parentheses right there inside that parameter and send it back to the client and go from there. Okay. So very brief. This was helpful for me, okay, because I really didn't even understand what the 200, 400, I mean, I saw those from time to time. I had no idea what those were, but now I have an idea in terms of what these values actually mean and how to actually send responses if things don't go right, um, but also that the response is, it in and of itself is not much, but this response.ok is what's going to be the real thing that gets all the information and sends it back to the client. So hopefully, hopefully if it was helpful for you, if not, let's keep moving on and try to figure this one out. Thanks.